Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Ben and Fishing. I'm Josh Treadwell. Today, we're going to be doing some uh, fly fishing for trout this morning on some of these fall stocked rivers. And it is a beautiful, probably 50, 48 degrees out, rainy. And it's like nine o'clock. There was rose closed this morning. All sorts of bad stuff happened this morning so far. So I'm super late, but that's okay. Uh, which means weather's crappy, which means there's no other fishermen here or fisher women, which means I got the pool all to myself, which is awesome. So watch and enjoy. We're going to be doing some nymphing today, some suspended rigs. So basically indicator fishing. Uh, the river it looks like it's come up a little bit, so I might start with streamers. But uh, make sure you watch and enjoy. Before I tie any of the flies on, let's tie this woolly bugger on, just because I have a short leader currently from getting skunked where I went last time. Swing that through there, see if there's any aggressive ones. Let's try a different fly. We're trying a little bright pattern. And like I said, this is a barbless, barbless area, so I gotta pinch those barbs. This is kind of like a snap that barb. And there should be fish right in front of me. And they'll be up in this little shallow riffle a lot of the time. I'm just gonna work that, uh, Work that seam there. And see if there's any chasers, which is key with the polarized sunglasses on. I've caught fish here in the spring or fall last year in like a foot of water in the dark. It's pretty cool. Let's see if I can do it again. They don't want to hit the streamer, I'll switch over to, to nymphing, of course. But I can't keep losing flies on my first cast. Did that the other day too. Not cool. Cut more casts, we'll switch over to an indicator rig. I'm only fishing this way because one, I like to fish this way, and two, we just had all this rain, the water's probably picked up just a little bit. Stirred some bait up. So this is the chartreuse on chartreuse with a tungsten bead head size 10. Nymph hook. I'll leave all the the recipe for this stuff below to tie my own flies. And I'm gonna get an indicator out. I'm gonna use a big one today. And I'm not going to start really high up on the on the rig here because it's moving not very fast and it's not very deep. I'd rather start high and then inch my way down. The general rule is like a foot, uh, 1.5 times the depth. And if you don't know the depth, just start high and keep lowering it down until you tick. Yeah, it's already too low right there. So let's uh, cast over into something a little bit faster moving. It's guaranteed to be some fish. I actually got a fish, guys. I actually got a fish. Finally. And it feels like a bigger one. Feels like a bigger one. Feels like a bigger one. Rolling drag.
I hadn't even seen it yet until I just saw my indicator. Finally. Let's see if I can keep him on here. What? That is not a trout. It's a freaking slime dart. That is definitely not a trout at all. I'm sure you inhaled it, of course. See where you're looking, trout guys. This past spring, they were loaded up. Spring or fall? I can't remember. Spring loaded up right behind this rock here, and they kept chasing me with spinning gear. Jeez, I'm crow. That's a rainbow for sure. Get off the rock. Get off the rock. All right, I gotta go this way, guys. Because I'm on a giant rock right here. Just hooked a rainbow. And he freaked out and scared it across the water. Whoa, feisty guy. Hopefully this guy up there is not opening the dam more. That won't be fun. Uh, is it a rainbow? No, 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 no. Come over here. Or not, I'm gonna go your way, I guess. Here's the rainbow. Yeah, hooks out. Nice fat rainbow. Nice fatty. There we go, guys. First uh, trout of the day. Just gonna let him go. Ooh, that was definitely a fish. There they are. Tail of the pool. Kind of makes sense for these guys. They sure do fight hard though. They're away from the rocks. Surprisingly fight hard for stockies. Come on over here. But there she is with the mop fly hanging in her mouth. Or he is, probably a she. Nice pretty bow, guys. Nice pretty bow. Going back in. So that fish was at the tail of this pool. So I just need to get a little bit longer, a little bit better drift. Well, shorten up my drift, but get a nice drift at the end of it. Kind of makes sense for these fish. So they're all stacked up right behind here last time. That one actually put up a pretty, pretty good fight for being a stocky. 
it's tough because I'm trying to drift downstream, which is not good for anybody, not good for the hook set, not good for the drift, but there's nowhere to stand over there. All right, a couple more casts here, guys, and then I'm gonna head, walk back over to where I started from, and then walk downstream to my little honey hole. Not really a honey hole, it's just a less pressured spot, I guess. <laughs> 